right now, the Kurt Vonnegut Museum and Library needs to raise tens of thousands of dollars by midnight. Yeah, News 8's Travis Robinson spoke with museum leaders who say they're about $75,000 short of that goal. Travis. Yeah, Phil, right now the fundraiser has just under seven hours left to raise all that money. It's not a lot of time. The board seems hopeful. The spot where the museum sits right now isn't permanent. That's just a donated space that they're being asked to leave. So in order to have a true place to call home, the museum needs some money. We really like this um, particular building. It's in the downtown square. It's close to all the other amenities in the downtown area. Uh, we get a lot of convention goers who uh, they happen to be in town for a convention, but they're big Kurt Vonnegut fans. They seek us out and come to come to our library. We want to make it accessible for them. Now the museum is just moving down the street. Only if they get the funds, though. If they can't, well, they'll need to find another avenue to go down. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Despite being so far from the goal, there isn't any doubt that they'll meet it. Sunday night we were $250,000 short. Today, this morning we woke up, we're $75,000 short. Now we're $70,000 short, so we get, we're going to get there, I think. And they're already planning ahead with what's going to be a part of their new space. We want to build a Slaughterhouse 5 exhibit uh, in, in part of the space. Bluebeard uh, is partnering with us, uh, one of the most iconic uh, restaurants here in Indianapolis. They're going to have a cafe on the first floor. But regardless of what happens to the museum, Vonnegut's work is more than just a building or a book. Well, I think the museum's going to be here. <laughs> um, so Slaughterhouse 5 will, uh, will last past your and I's lifetime without any doubt. It's a, a timeless book about war and what happens in war. Um, as long as human beings engage in the folly of war, uh, Slaughterhouse 5 will be relevant. And since there's still a handful of hours left to go until the fundraising deadline, if you'd like to donate, you can go to our website and click a link to the donation page. I'm Travis Robinson, Wish TV News 8.